Welcome back to Urban Lounge, indie music fans. My name is Rachel Jensen. I am the host for tonight's Localized for Slug Magazine. We are here with three awesome bands for an alt set. Check us out here every month. Get some free swag thanks to our sponsors, KRCL Radio 90.9 FM, You Went to Brewing, and Spill Take Screen Printing. And we are here tonight with Van Lady Love, Static Waves. Finishing up the night, you'll see Mimi Knowles. It's gonna be a great show. As always, check out Slug Magazine. It is free to you. First Friday of the month, everywhere cool. Stay tuned. When I'm performing, I, I love to just get lost in the music and whatever it's whatever I decide to do, it, it moves me in that certain way, and I, I just want that to, you know, for that to happen with the fans as well. Something special about us is that we we all play a lot of instruments, uh, from uh, keyboards to guitars to acoustic guitars to synths to uh, Ableton push, which are just you know some buttons you're hitting. We're well versed musicians, I guess you could say. I do a lot of uh, of melody creation just because my favorite part about music is singing along and like I love singing a guitar solo or I love singing you know some clever lyrics or something. We just got back from Seattle a couple weeks ago and so we've got some new songs that we're going to be releasing. We are hopefully getting in the studio all of October as well to full record. Do, the, do the whole record. It's been a while and we've got a whole bunch of songs that we're super excited about. It's going to be really hard to narrow down to enough for just a record. Now we'll have to make two records, I don't know. Oh, the wait is long. Sometimes I can As a kid, I listened to Buddy Holly growing up quite a bit. Uh, just the very straightforward rock and roll, I guess the first form of rock and roll. And then pop is fused in there very strongly. And he's more into Nine Inch Nails and heavier stuff. We're all over the board. <laughs> Our band's like, everybody's got a different background, what they listen to and influenced by, so. It helps, I think, to create something different. Um, we're headlining a show at Valor in October, and we've been working on new music for the last like year. So expect new music Lots hopefully at the new year. Hey, now put your hands up if you're feeling good. Worst behavior, baby, I ain't acting like I should. Forget my old track, cause I ain't in the mood. And I'm feeling myself, I am being rude. Hands up, everybody stand up. Everybody jumping like everybody can't duck. Let me see you sway, sway, sway. Let me see you sway. Let me see you sway. Let me see you. Oops, I guess it went belligerent. Security asking me to come down. Wasn't listening, nobody control. Emily Rose need an exorcist. Like I'm trying to catch the Holy Ghost at my Christian name. And my only question is, huh, who in the party? I got a crew, so you, you, you riding shot it, baby. I know it might be a little bit crowded, but ain't no fire code in my whip, so I will let my crew majority, minorities, feeling that this is a voltage. Who will let these snacks, mama? Can I get some more of these? I love my mama, only way that makes sense. Rest the interns in my clinic. Um, I think um, the uniqueness in my sound is a, has a lot to do with where the culture of music is nowadays. Um, there used to be a lot of like purists, it's like you're a rock and roll, or you're a hip hop artist, or you're a jazz head. Um, but now all of that music is so readily available, and I just really, really love all types of genres. So it's hard to say that you're just one genre. My two favorite artists, well, probably about like a couple years ago, were John Mayer and Kanye West. Just loved them all. They were in their own lane, did their own thing. Um, now I get a lot of inspiration from Drake, and um, performance-wise, Kanye, he just spazzes out on stage. And I think the biggest thing that drives me is um, we've all had rough spots, and my message is, yeah, it sucks now, but it's going to get better. For me, life is all about connection. 
like there's that moment where like a baby connects with his mother or that moment where you like connect with your friend when both of your favorite movies step brothers or like both your favorite places is like to go eat up Popeye's fried chicken like life is just about connecting um, and I think there's no easier and stronger way to connect than through music so uh, going with what I'm trying to do with my music is letting people know it's gonna be okay um, how are they gonna know that if I don't connect with them Thank you guys, thank you, thank you.